So I've been hearing around the web that Linux Mint has sold out to Mozilla for money. Let's talk about it. So you guys know that I'm constantly looking at articles on the web, especially when they're dealing with the Linux operating system and tech in general. Well, I started seeing an article yesterday that was basically saying that Linux Mint has sold out to Mozilla to basically change up the default uh, search engine within the browser of Linux Mint. And I just wanted to do a quick video just showing you guys that this is completely false uh if you see this article is most likely clickbait and i wanted to show you guys exactly what happened during this situation between linux mint and mozilla so let's hop over to the article so as you can see this is the article i'm talking about or one of the articles i've actually seen it in a normal number of places it's almost like they click baited uh the article to get people to read it and this actually was published like six days ago and i'm not bashing the author of the article but it seems like they put that title together in order to get a lot a lot of people to click on the article and respond and kind of start a conversation about what actually happened and let me read the title. It basically says Linux Mint sells out for Mo for Mozilla money. Uh, Google becomes default search in Firefox. Now, if we read a little bit of it, I'm gonna just scroll down. I'm not gonna read the whole article, but it says, so you decide to get rid of Windows and switch to Linux, which I don't like how they, <laughs> how they put this in here. Like if you, you know, decided to not use windows anymore because of you know windows 7 went out of date and people didn't want to switch to windows 10 or windows 11 and you decided to go with linux mint then you may be regretting that decision and i'm here to tell you no if you switch to linux you, that's one of the best things you know you can actually do <laughs> you know what i'm saying as far as getting away from the proprietary software that's owned by these companies out in silicon valley if you're using open source software as well as open source operating system then i think you did the right thing so don't let this article fool you uh with the statements that it said and it goes through and just explains that they made changes to the browser within the latest version of linux mint and my thoughts is i look at it as a good thing because if mozilla wants to shell out cash to the linux mint developers to make changes to the operating system then so be it. It's not like a major change. So if we scroll down, it says the default start page no longer points to Linux Mint.Start, which is cool. I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it says the default search engine no longer includes Linux Mint search partners, uh, Yahoo and DuckDuckGo, but Mozilla search partners, uh, Google, Amazon, Bing, DuckDuckGo and eBay. The default configuration switches from Mint defaults to Mozilla defaults uh firefox no longer includes code changes or patches for linux mint debian or ubuntu and just my response to some of this by them changing the default search engines you know if you're using linux i'm pretty sure you know how to go in and actually revert it back so that's why that's why i say i think it's if they wanted to give money to do something like that then that's a good thing because most of the users of open source software, you know, know how to do a lot of this stuff and they're not probably not going to stick with the defaults after installing the operating system. Now, I understand it's a cool marketing strategy to try to get people to, you know, use the search engines that they partner with. But at the end of the day, most people are computer savvy when it comes to using the Linux operating system and they can go in and easily change this. A lot of times people install whatever browser that they want to use. So like some people don't even use uh, Firefox or and they want to use Chrome or something like that, you know, and then they go in and customize it based on their likings. You know what I'm saying? So. I just kind of wanted to, you know, read a little bit of this article and just kind of show you guys that, you know, this is nothing to really worry about. I wouldn't fault Linux Mint for actually accepting the money. They didn't sell out in any way. And I also wanted to read the article that actually explains what happened during this business deal between Linux Mint and Mozilla. And I have that article right here. And I'll have both of these articles down in, in the description of the video. 
I might leave out this article and just put in the one from ZadNet. But it basically says Linux Mint is reverting Firefox to Mozilla Config after partnership sign, which is super cool, man. I mean, in at the end of the day, it's almost like a support. You know what I'm saying? I, I see it as support of the open source community and the way things run with these organizations. They're constantly needing money to continue supporting these applications because these applications are not built for free you know someone spends their time actually developing these applications or distributions and putting it all together all together and maintaining the operating system so with all that time and effort you should be compensated in some kind of way and this is one of those ways to actually get compensated it's almost like a sponsorship you know what i'm saying but just to read a little more on what it's saying it says mozilla and linux may have signed a partnership that will see the Linux distribution dump is customization of the web browser in favor of rolling out the default chosen by Mozilla. So that's essentially what it is. It says in the past, Linux Mint used its own default settings and configured Firefox in a specific way. Most of this configuration is abandoned to go back to the Mozilla defaults. Distribution founder Clement Leifabrieve uh, wrote, among the changes to the default uh, start page, no longer pointing to a page controlled by Mint, search engines switching from Linux Mint search partners include Yahoo and DuckDuckGo to Mozilla search partners, including Google, Amazon, Bing, DuckDuckGo, and eBay. And patches from the Mint upstream distribution, Debian and Ubuntu being dropped. Uh, the relationship between Mozilla and Mint is commercial and technical, with hopes that Mint users will be able to update the browser from within Firefox, similar to how Windows users do, rather than needing to use the distribution package manager. For Mozilla, the goal is to make Firefox work the same way across all platforms to ease the maintenance and simplify development and bug fixes, which I definitely agree with. At the end of the day, you kind of, whenever you put out a product, and that's why a lot of people are going to containers when it comes to applications. That way the application will work no, ma no matter the platform that it's on or the distribution operating system that's actually running on. A containerized application, which comes with all the dependencies and everything that it needs for it to run properly and the same across all platforms is why people use containers. So I understand their purpose for actually soliciting Mint to actually agree to this partnership and then it says with these changes firefox will give the same experience in linux man as it does in other operating systems and say and and it also says for us the changes mean a tremendous simplification in terms of maintenance and development we use to build firefox ourselves using ubuntu's packages packaging which is set to be the discontinued as ubuntu is moving towards snap we now package the Mozilla version of Firefox instead. So if you want to read more, I'll put the link down in the description of the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that kind of clears up some of the bad information that's kind of going around that Linux Mint kind of sold out for the money. I don't think they did. This was simply a partnership between Mozilla and Mint to actually get the application of Firefox to run the same across multiple platforms, which I think is great. But tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, keep it techy.